Not Another Moment Lost to Seizures. This is Sarah's story, written and produced by her sister, Julia Harris. More than 3 million people in the U.S. have some form of epilepsy. About 200,000 new cases of seizure disorders and epilepsy are diagnosed each year. Three hundred thousand people have a first convulsion each year. One hundred and twenty thousand of them are under the age of eighteen. Teenagers. From driving to dating, sports to activities, teenagers face challenges every day. But teens who have epilepsy face other challenges too. No teen wants to explain seizures to other people. Not knowing how their friends are going to react can be stressful. Never knowing when the next seizure is going to happen is scary. Nobody wants to be different, but sometimes there are differences that affect people's lives and people just have to deal with it. This is me and my older sister, Sarah. During her early years, she lived a normal life. At the age of 12, Sarah was diagnosed with epilepsy and this changed all of our lives. All of a sudden, our daily lives included doctors, hospitals, ambulances, blood work, problems with schools, changes in vacation destinations, and even a few celebrities along the way. After going to a walk for epilepsy in New Paltz, New York, Sarah wanted to have her own walk and raise awareness about epilepsy around where we live. With the help from friends and family, on November 5th, 2006, Sarah's first walk for epilepsy took place. At the end of the walk, we raised $23,000 for the Epilepsy Society of Southern New York. Once Sarah reached age 16, she went under the knife for her first brain surgery to remove the focal point of her seizures. Seven months, four surgeries, one staph infection, unheard of side effects, and lots of family and friends TLC later, Sarah's journey proved to be worthwhile. Incredibly, her seizure frequency and intensity were both reduced substantially. Now Sarah is going to school every day and is able to hang out with her friends. Like a normal teenager, she loves the Twilight Saga, scary movies, and watching American Idol with me, but she can't drive. Sarah still has to take her medicine and see her doctors, but now we have everything under control. Our family goal now is to help other families who have someone they love with epilepsy and raise money for the Epilepsy Foundation so that the money will be used for research and support. Epilepsy has no cure, at least not yet. Medicines are the most common type of epilepsy treatment, but for some individuals, medication does not work well against seizures. Doctors may consider brain surgery as a means of treatment. Afterwards, some seizure medications may have to be continued. If no seizures occur, then the medicine may be slowly withdrawn. Epilepsy is so unknown and misunderstood despite the millions who experience seizures, it is difficult to teach people about. But with the help of organizations like the Epilepsy Foundation, people are able to learn more. The National Walk for Epilepsy in Washington, D.C. on March 28, 2009 will continue to bring attention to what epilepsy is and is not. The message that we want to send across the nation as we walk together is, people with epilepsy are deserving of respect and are strong members of our community at the workplace, in school, at home, and in any social setting and epilepsy itself deserves to be better understood.